Good morning. If you're just waking up on this Thursday morning, right now we're looking at Hurricane Delta with winds at 100 miles an hour moving to the northwest at about 15. Category 2 hurricane it continues to look like it's strengthening as you can see some of those showers and thunderstorms kind of wrapping around the center of this storm. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. Area in yellow here is tropical storm force winds. Those are winds between 39 and 73 miles per hour. The actual hurricane force winds over 74 miles an hour, 74 or above small area here in the center. The yellow area extends out about 120 miles each side. So we're talking about 240 miles across. The red area here is 35 miles. So we're talking about 70 miles across. Now here's the track. It takes it up into the Gulf of Mexico. Category three hurricane possibly by early tomorrow morning. And then as it comes ashore, they're expecting it to weaken. Winds down to maybe 105, 100 miles per hour as it comes across the Cameron coastline. They're expected to be Eastern Cameron Parish, maybe Central Cameron Parish as we head into, looks like Friday afternoon, Friday evening, Category 2 hurricane at this point. Uh, notice that area of yellow, that's the tropical storm force winds. That will extend over into Southeast Texas. So we'll could see wind gusts 40, maybe 50 miles per hour with maybe some sustained winds between about 15 to 25, maybe even 30 miles per hour. So uh, I would imagine there might be some spotty power outages and, and things like that. But as far as widespread damage, like we saw with Laura, that's not going to happen. As far as the rain is concerned, maybe one to three inches of rain. It's going to be moving through very quickly, so it won't have a lot of time to drop, drop a lot of rain. We'll see some scattered showers today, nothing too heavy. And then tomorrow the rain will get a little heavier. Uh, but I don't think we're going to see any widespread flooding or anything like that. Uh, storm continues to move off towards the north and east as we head into Saturday. So by Saturday afternoon, things should be clearing out. And then it uh, looks pretty good for most of Saturday and then Sunday. Your weekend does not look too bad. But uh, there's the current track from the National Hurricane Center. It kept, pretty much follows the consensus of the models, which is right over parts of uh, southwest or south central uh, Louisiana. Waiting for that turn. The storm is still moving to the northwest. Here's that trough of low pressure that we're expecting to kind of push that thing off towards the north and east. Uh, it's moving through Texas. We're going to wait and see how they kind of interact as we go towards late tonight. That's when we're expecting to see that northerly turn and then eventually northeasterly turn as we get into tomorrow. So we're watching it pretty closely. We do have a hurricane warning out for southwest Louisiana. Uh, nothing for Southeast Texas. We're under a tropical storm warning as we're expecting those tropical storm force winds. That includes everyone except for Tyler County. Uh, you should be far enough away from the storm that you might see wind gusts up around 30, 35, but as far as 39 to 40, uh, doubt if we'll see too much of that over in Tyler County. And then we have a storm surge watch, which we could see seas anywhere from about one to three feet. Here we go. We'll just kind of break it down for you. Friday afternoon, Friday evening, rainfall, maybe one to three inches. Not a ton of rain with this storm surge, one to three feet. So that's going to be low. And then probably the only problem we're really going to probably the only problem we're going to really deal with is the tropical storm force gust about 50 miles an hour and that's going to be mainly through the triangle places like Newton County. Once you get away from Orange County, Jefferson County, Newton County, uh, you'll probably see wind gusts more in the line of maybe 40, 45 miles per hour. Right now we have some scattered showers coming into the state. You can see uh, some scattered rain through southeast Texas. So take the umbrella today. It looks like over towards the Horseman's Western Store it looks dry, dry right now. Currently 73 on our live Skycam network. Uh, as we look at temperatures across the area, generally some lower to middle 70s. Forecast for today, uh, good coverage of scattered rain, 40-50% coverage with temperatures in the middle 80s. Then tonight, uh, rain gets a little heavier. We'll see periods of...
huracán Delta, categoría 3. Cada vez más fuerte. Tenemos que entrar a la ciudad. Acá estamos en la Rolandis Cumbres No pasó nada afortunadamente Se ve que todo está bien Si sí hay árboles y Palmeras caídas 
letrero ahí de estacionamiento de la plaza de al lado, pero, pero nosotros afortunadamente todo bien. Se ve que no... Bueno, creo que ya pasó todo y se cayó un árbol aquí de los grandes.